Live from Studio 46, this is CBS 2 News This Morning. It may be summer vacation, but STEM education is top of mind right now for an impressive group of high school students. They're finalists in a worldwide research and design challenge called the Clean Tech Competition. The winner will be announced this week at Stony Brook University on Long Island. Here to tell us more is Dr. Ray Ann Havasey, along with finalists Audrey Shine and Danielle Kelly. And Audrey is a reigning champ. <laughs> Good morning to all of you. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for being here. You girls are going to explain a little bit about your project in a moment. Moment, but first, Doctor, let me start with you. For just a reminder, when we talk about STEM education, what exactly is STEM? STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. And as a nation, uh, we need to do better. Um, when we take a look at what kids around the world are doing, um, really kids in the United States are not selecting STEM careers to the extent that kids in other parts of the world are. Mm -hmm. So the Spelman High Voltage Clean Tech Competition is a way we hope in which we highlight the importance of STEM. Exactly. So explain a little bit of the process of this whole competition because it actually started months ago. Sure. So the students register their intention uh, to be a part of the competition in the fall. Um, then they submit a paper in the spring and we have papers from around the world. And we you said you had 600 papers. Right, from 39 different countries. And we have judges from around the world who judge these papers. So the top 30 those teams are selected as semifinalists. And then the top 10 are announced as the finalist teams who will come together next week at Stony Brook University mm -hmm. to compete for the winning prize. And luckily, we have some local finalists, Audrey and Danielle. Explain a little bit. You brought some of your models. Tell us what your project is. So in essence, our project worked to improve the performance of hydrogen fuel cells as modeled here. And with inputs of only hydrogen and oxygen gas, fuel cells enable a reaction that produces electricity and water is the only byproduct. And this makes them one of the cleanest sources of energy out there. And so in our project, we work to incorporate graphene oxide, a versatile chemical substance, into layers of the fuel cell. And one of the reasons why we chose to incorporate graphene oxide is because I had worked with graphene in my past experience. And through that experience, I learned that graphene is the world's strongest material to this day. It is 200 times stronger than steel. And we actually constructed a physical model mm -hmm. to show the chemical structure of graphene oxide. And we see the model layer of carbon, which is, gives graphene oxide its incredible strength, as well as functional groups extending outward, which give it additional no chemical properties. I'm blown away by you, you <laughs> both of you, and your intelligence. It, what was the, what, what did you think when you realized, I know you won last year, but when you were named a finalist this year, what went through your mind? Well, honestly, we were both so excited. It's such an honor to be a finalist and to be able to share research that we're so passionate about with people, not just from around the country, but around the world. And you guys both are going to be seniors. You go to different schools. What school do you go to? Again, I go to Friends Academy. Mm -hmm. And I go to Plainview O. Beth Page JFK High School. And what is it like for you, doctor, to just see, I mean, their eyes light up. And that's exactly what you want to see in these students, especially from the United States. And especially since both of these wonderful students have a voice and intention to go on to STEM careers. Um, women and STEM is something that is just a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so I'm delighted. Um, one thing that's great about the Spelman High Voltage Clean Tech Competition is that the teams work with mentors. We don't want them to just win prizes. We want them to actually put their invention into practice. So they'll work with mentors and actually bring their prototype to reality for wow. the world. That's impressive. And what are, there are prizes though, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. There are. And what yes. are they? Well, the top team wins $10,000. Wow. So that uh, alone is a great, is, it's, it's great for them. This year also we'll have an opportunity. The winning team will go to Rome and be part of the World Climate Summit. They will be the first high school team ever invited to the World Climate Summit. So come on. I know. <laughs> For you guys, thank you so much for coming in. And the public can come out on Thursday, right, to, to see, see the finalists. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, good luck. We hope that you guys win. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank you for coming thank in. You. We Thanks really, so we really appreciate it. And, and again, the uh, competition finals this Thursday at Stony Brook University. Cindy, over to you.